Okay. So it's my thought for the day. I think I'm hexed or cursed or something. And I ain't really been religious. And I don't really believe in voodoo and stuff. But something the hell is going on here. All right, listen to this. A few nights ago, I told my husband, I said, ain't it weird? I had to not sweat so bad for for months and months and months. I had these night sweats. It was awful. And uh, for anybody that ain't ever had them, just appreciate that you have it because they're awful. And and you kicking covers off, and and then you freeze them. Because you're laying there soaking wet in, in a puddle of damn sweat. And the ceiling fan and shit's on and the air conditioner will kick on. So then you cover them back up. Because you're going to freeze. And then you start sweating in your puddle of sweat again. And and in your damn sheets you wake up and they, they smell like homeless people's been sleeping in the bed with you. And you got to strip your damn bed off and... It's so bad, I put down one of them mattress pad things over my my bed, them waterproof ones, try to keep that stuff out of our good mattress. And and so this went on and went on. Well, I, I, I had them check my blood, make sure I wasn't going through the change or something. And um, they said, no, I was fine. And so... Um, I figured it's some that crazy bipolar medicine I take. You know, I take a lot of that stuff. And, uh, and, uh, you know, we had a few tragedies here at the house. Really devastated me. And my medicine was getting kind of changed around a little bit, trying to keep me, you know, falling totally off the deep end. And, uh, I just attributed it to that. Well, then, about four days ago, I hadn't had night sweats in months and months. And I said something to my husband. I said, isn't that weird how they just kind of stopped? They, they was real bad. It was every damn night. And they stopped. And I... I'll be damned if I didn't have them the next three damn nights. Well, I didn't have them last night. And let me tell you why. All right, I'm hatching these damn chickens. I do this every year. I got a bazillion and 73 of them little Polish chickens out there. And I love them. They're so cute. And, um, so every spring I go out there every day and get their eggs and, and I got me a couple incubators and I start incubating me some eggs. Well, once they hatch, you know, this is Virginia, it's still a little cold here. And, uh, shit, it's windy in Virginia down this side of Virginia, we ain't got no damn mountains and the wind don't stop blowing and that ain't good for them babies outside. So even with heat lamp, they gonna have wind. So what I do when they hatch, you know, I let them stand there long enough to fluff up, dry off a little bit, and I throw them in a tote. You know, just like a blue tote. And I put the heat lamp, I clamp it on there. Yeah, yeah, I know it ain't safe, but I got, you know, y'all don't even know. I got like nine fire extinguishers in the house and smoke detectors that's all hooked together. If one goes off, they all go off. And they're electric and they got a battery backup. So I think I'm okay on that front. Anyway... 
So, I got him in there. Well, then, on April 3rd or 4th, because those hatched March 23rd. Well, you know, so they're getting a little bit bigger. Like, they need to go outside. But uh, it was freaking flurrying last night. So, I ain't putting the babies out there to deal with that situation, even with heat light. So, I said, well, they just going to have to wait a few more days, let it warm up a little bit more. So, I got the babies in there on a dining room table. In a tote with heat light. Well, then on uh, April 3rd or 4th or something, another incubator started hatching. Well, I don't know what I did wrong to that batch, but I've only, like, only, like, 9 or 10 or 11 of them hatched or something. I was just like, well, you know, that's all right, because I'm trying to sell them anyway. It's just, you know, it's a hobby or something. So, anyway, then, last night I made a remark to my husband, because there wasn't no more room. There's still another incubator on the table and that tote. So, I had them babies in a cardboard box, just, you know, not six or eight inches high and I put one of those things on the bottom it's not a heating pad it's like a chicken heating pad it's made for chickens and it gets warm and they lay on top of it if they get cold kind of situation you know and they got their food in there and they got their water in there and they got their heat thing in there and the first three or four days I laid a heat pad across the top of it and turned that on so they had heat coming from the bottom and the top those first few days, make sure they didn't catch a chill or nothing. Well, excuse me, it's a morning and my ass should not be awake yet. So let me tell you what happened. I remarked to my husband yesterday, our dogs is some chicken... Goat, dog, duck, killing bitches. That's just the way it is. Well, our dogs are fenced in. We got six foot fence and the chickens is over there. So the dogs can't get to them. But the chickens used to just free range out there. You know, hawks and barn owls and everything was getting them. But. Sometimes a duck or a chicken would fly the six-foot fence. Well, hell, that's dog food there. You know, Zeus out there one day, he's 170 pounds of stupid, but he's lovable. And I said, Zeus, what are you doing? And he turned around and looked at me and had a big old chicken wing hanging out of his mouth. Big old perfect feathers. I said, Lordy B, I don't even know what chicken that was, but... I'm gone now. So, anyway, I remarked to my husband last night in the kitchen. I said, oh, baby, you know, it amazes me. The dogs don't never mess with the baby chickens that I keep in the house. And I do this every spring. I said, it's like they know. These inside chickens is mama's chickens. Don't mess with them. And, uh, so we did, we said, you know, that's really weird because, like, especially, I mean, they could pull that toad over. Lord, they're huge. The dogs is freaking huge. So it wouldn't be nothing to get up there and pull that toad off. And then the box is sitting on an end table right there beside the couch. Been sitting there since April 3rd. Them dogs ain't gone nowhere near it. And them little baby chickens in there just to chirp, chirp, chirping away. And the dogs act like they're oblivious. 
Well, I said this last night. Well, then last night I had one of them nights where I was up all night. I should have took a handband or something, but, you know, by the time you know you're going to be up all night, well, then it's too damn late. So, at about 4.30 this morning, I finally woke Ernie up. I'm like, baby, if you go to work, you better get up right now. So, he got up. He goes to work. I was up a little while longer. I finally fell asleep. Well, you know, him chickens is always in there. Cheep, 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 cheep. Well, it's just, it's sometimes they just screech their head off for just some unknown fucking reason. Well, it's chickens in there, and it's yelling its little damn head off. And I thought, well, shit, maybe they're out of water or something. Because, hell, I ain't been asleep two hours. So I go in there to get these little bitches water. The fucking box ain't even there. It's gone. Their, their little heating pad, their little chicken heating pad that's still plugged in is strewn out across the living room heading towards the kitchen door. Well, shit, you go through the kitchen, you get to the laundry room, you get to the dog door. Well, first off, that little bitch, Zeus, He's 170 pounds of stupid love. And he will take shit out that dog door. I don't know how he fits it out there. So I know he can fit some chickens out there. I'm like, shit, they done eat my chickens. And then I go out there and I see the box laying in the yard. But then I can hear, cheep, 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 cheep. I'm like, what the hell is this? So I get to digging around. We got one of them real big two people hammocks like the good ones. You know, it looks like a Noah's Ark kind of thing they're on. And they don't flip over with you in them. And uh, we took it down because the wind was blowing so bad the other day. That damn hammock was doing this right here in the damn wind. I said, baby, that's going to bust the window outside of the house or something. So he went out there and he took the hammock part off and just laid it down, you know. Well, we start looking around and uh, shit, there's a, uh, or I'm looking around. I found nine baby chickens out there. One of them, when it was born, its legs wasn't right and it died. So I thought I should have had ten, but I believe I only found nine. And I mean, I went out there and let the horse out. And I looked around pretty good and stuff. And I was seeing another chicken. But, uh, all them bitches wanted was that nasty crumble baby chicken food. They out there licking that shit up off the deck. I'm like, you dogs. Oh, my God. So, as soon as I say, I ain't having night sweats, I magically reappear with fucking night sweats. As soon as I say, them dogs ain't messed with them chickens, and they know they're right there. And they've been there since April 3rd. As soon as I say it, they drag my chicken box out into the fucking yard uh, as soon as their mama goes to sleep, yeah, everybody knows, it's probably you, Lissa, Lissa, was it you, was it you, was it you, say it wasn't me, mom, I swear it, it wasn't me, okay, but, so I think maybe I'm hexed, because that's two things right in a row, like, in the last week. So, it kind of makes me wonder, you know. There's a lot of bitches that hate me. Maybe somebody's a voodoo priest or something. I don't know. Maybe they... I don't know what they are, but... I know they a bunch of bitches. But, that's the size of the point. Just because they bitches, they can't hex you. You know... A bunch of them go to church, but 
I know Christian people, they ain't going to, you know, ain't no Methodist minister going to hex me for them, so I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they just praying about it. Say, do something about bitch. But anyway, I just let y'all know, I had no damn sleep. My hair's still wet. My hair's still wet from trying to watch that movie last night. And uh, I'm out there in the freezing cold looking for chickens. It's an inch and a half tall. Good morning to y'all too.